All right, the big question here is uh, why are my clothes not getting uh, clean with my HE washer? All right, uh, my wife has had uh, severe difficulties uh, when she does laundry, and when I do laundry, uh, we just don't seem to, things are not getting clean with this machine. So uh, it seems that this problem is uh, relevant to all of the machines out there that are HE, uh, high efficiency uh, washers. And what it is, is what you need to do is use the soak okay now not just use the soak okay you can there has different settings where you can go just the standard setting which is like mine is 29 minutes or you can go longer so you can set it for longer periods of time of soaking okay and what this does is actually gets the uh the the your clothing or pillows or whatever else you have in their blankets soaking wet so the machine senses a heavy object in there and fills up fuller and I've seen a lot of videos of people opening these things up and messing with the settings and changing uh, the uh, internal uh, feeders for the water in there. And that's not good. You don't want to mess with these machines. You don't want to do that, okay? It's just not a smart thing to do. You could flood your dog on a uh, laundry room in your house if you, if you leave the uh, thing running. So anyway, make it quick here. I'm trying to. Um, you need to soak it. Soak first. And when you're soaking, also add soap like you're doing a regular wash, okay? So... You open up your little tray inside here. Inside here is a little tray, or you'll have your tray wherever it is in there where you put, add your soap. Add your soap, turn on the soaking, turn it on, let it run, and then after that, then refill your soap again, and then run it in your normal setting, whatever you're going to use. You're going to use normal, bulky, heavy-duty, whites, whatever. That's what you're going to use. And you'll notice that your clothes are going to get a lot cleaner, and you won't have to add baking soda because my wife has tried that. You won't have to add uh, uh, extra cleaning compounds or uh, borax or all that other garbage. You just use your high efficiency soap here. We use uh, Kirkland Ultra Clean. Okay. And if you need to, you know, you know the old classic bleach. It's always my friend, you know, for your uh, whites and stuff. But beyond that, you know, uh, you have also your color safe. Uh, uh, this stuff right here. I, I like it because it just makes it smell good. You know, makes your, uh, makes your uh, colors... Uh, smell better but uh does it work as a uh, bleach aging i don't know okay now you know dirty spots stuff like that like uh you know uh grass stains uh, makeup whatever you know that gets on there on, on the clothes the girls and, and the boys you know and, and the kids or whatever they get stuff all over their stuff and uh you know you gotta clean it off uh hydrogen peroxide's a, a real good one for removing like uh grass stains and blood and all that other stuff uh, and then, you know, you got your shout, which is good for, you know, just regular stains. So, you know, you just have to determine what the stain is and then remove it, you know, before you wash it or especially before you dry it. Okay. Now, if you have oil like cooking oil or, 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 uh, let's say motor oil, like I get motor oil on everything of mine, uh, and cooking oil. Um, I just use a uh, Dawn. I put straight Dawn on there and let it sit for a day. And that stain is gone. It just takes it right off. Even if I've dried it, it takes it off. But anyway, back to a high efficiency uh, washer. Just make sure you use the soak method. Soak it first. Okay. That soak. You'll see it's lit up here. Soak. There you go. Soak. Because wash is confusing there. But soak is actually the light that's lit. And you'll soak it first. That'll weigh it down. The machine will know it has a heavy object in there and will fill up fuller to wash your clothes. I hope this helps. God bless. Bye-bye.